Hey family, Pastor Jen here with day eight of our 21 days of fasting and favor. We hope that this time has been a blessing to you. We hope these devotionals have been encouraging to you. And today I wanna to talk about being made new in Christ Jesus. Our scripture can be found in Matthew 9, verse 17, and it reads, nor do they put new wine into old wineskins, or else the wineskins break. The wine is spilled and the wineskins are ruined, but they put new wine into new wineskins and both are preserved. I wanna to talk to you about the freshness of God's favor in our life. He desires to make all things new, but we can't remain the same. We can't remain in those old habits and expect God to do a new thing in us. Old habits, selfish desires, complacent thoughts, deceitful thoughts, they all need to be abandoned so we can become pure and fully available for a better future with Christ Jesus. You are God's chosen vessel to carry His glory. Think about that. You have been chosen and set apart to carry His glory. He formed you in your mother's womb and He continues to mold us and shape us when we allow Him into the likeness of Jesus. And the more malleable we are to Him, the greater our capacity to receive see fresh outpourings of blessings and wisdom and showcase His goodness in us and through us. I want to encourage you today to, to really take an inventory. Lord, what do you want to renew in my life? What are some of the things that need to go so that that new wine can be poured into new wineskins and that can be, that can be made whole and, and fresh and it can be just brand new in Christ Jesus? What are some of the things that you need to let go of? What are some of the thoughts that need to, to be cast to the side? What, what are some of the fleshly natures that we have that need to die? Really examine yourself, write it down, make that vision plain and ask the Lord to help you because you want to be made new in Him. We're done with the old, God wants to do a new thing. And through that, we can receive and find the favor of God in every area of our life, not just for our lives, but for our children and our children's children. I love you. I can't can't wait to see you tomorrow for day nine.